How'd you like the caves? <laughs> the, I love the caves. The caves don't like me so much. I don't know if you... That scar is still there on the top of my head, but... Um, uh, <laughs> caves are awesome as long as you keep your head down or your helmet on. <laughs> Can you say that again? Ask me that again. <laughs> I'm like, yeah! Running's done. Let's go drink beer. <laughs> Um, well, my interest in the film was, was more or less a, a, a common interest among the drunken friends I have. And um, I, it's really funny about auditioning for the part is I don't think I auditioned for the part. I think the part kind of auditioned for me. It's like, he's just a smart ass. He'll play Vaco. <laughs> That's kind of how that went, I think. I don't know if it was written for me, but I don't know if pretty Vaco belongs in the film or not, but he sure is fun. Um, the story, so I didn't really know, I'm not like a Star Warsy and head headed kind of guy anyway, or, you know, I don't speak Star Warsy, So I didn't really know the story, and, it, you know, I, I kind of learned um, about the story as we were making the film and whatnot, and how it fit into the whole um, Star Wars realm. So I kind of learned that as we went, and as far as the, the you know, the character... That, that Baco is and how he ties into the whole thing. I think he's a really unique guy. Because, um, you know, there really isn't, I mean, aside from Jar Jar Binks, there really isn't a lot of comic relief in, in the Star Wars stuff. And, and he's kind of a, a, a human comic relief. So, yeah, I love Baco. He's a good guy. Oh, it's on now. That's good. I didn't have to act that much. <laughs> that, was, that was my favorite thing about it. I could just, like, you know, put on the put on the, the, the costume and, and kind of be my smart ass self and, and I didn't have to act too much. It was, it was, it was really easy. Um, I was always very confident in the fact that we were gonna make something and, and um, it was gonna be a film of sorts. And the, you know, and the, and the more we threw ourselves into it, the more confident I thought we're doing something here because my God, there was, there was so many of us working so hard, doing so many silly things and awesome things with the, with the miniatures that Rick was making and the costumes and the, just the, 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 the ass bus and it went, went on with it. Um, yeah, I was I'm very confident we were gonna do something and it's gonna be a film. <laughs> I hope someday when it's done, it's a film anyway. But there's a lot of something that we did. Oh, and the running. The running, I'm not built for running anymore. I'm old and, and running around with those kids is beating the crap out of myself. I remember that. And those costumes are hot, but Rick wasn't too much of a taskmaster. And, and, and he actually, you know, could see cause I'm old and, um, and I have bad knees. And, and um, I remember he, he would cut me some slack. He's like, okay, Jeff, Jeff's done. We're not, we're not running anymore today. And I'm like, yeah. Running's done. Let's go drink beer. <laughs> yeah, just go for it. He'll edit out whatever. I know a ton of work was put into him, and a lot of thought was put. In. Oh, we we were fitting and screwing around with costumes for for a year before we did much anything. Absolutely. And if they don't, they're I don't think they're really Star Wars fans. I don't care if they think Bane should be bald or not. It's a it's a good story. I think it's a necessary story. In, in, in um, you know, for the for Star Wars, and um, it's just exciting, you know, um, to be a part of something that's eventually going to be really big um, for a fan film. It's going to be a big deal when it when it comes out, and um, hell yeah, they'll like it, and they're gonna love Baco because he's a stud. I think it was one of those things for me, you know, about the film was it was an exciting unique experience that um, I don't think I'm gonna ever be able to repeat one is because my knees are thrashed I'm not gonna be able to run like that anymore and the other thing is just who has an opportunity and and a friend with a bunch of disposable cash who wants to make a film you know for God's sake so um, I feel really lucky that I was involved in it and uh, with a bunch of great people and we had a, a great time and um, drank a lot of sit lager uh, during during the film and um, just had a great time and it's a, just an experience I'm gonna remember forever for forever and it's a cool thing <laughs>